Hi, it's Tuesday. I am so busy at work today. Eating lunch at my desk. I'm really busy at work today. I had a lot of internal meetings. We're pushing to get a big project done by Friday. Wow, my hand is shaking. Hopefully I'm not shaking you too much. Uh, so it's kind of all hands on deck. Exciting work news. The pack art my team made for the new Sims expansion pack came out today and the video came out. Pretty cute, huh? We love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat through lunch and then go to sleep and try to um, do this day all over again until it's the weekend. I love capitalism. I finished Naked by David Sedaris last night. I loved the one about his sister's wedding and them knowing his mom was gonna die. That was so tender and sweet. And the one about the, the nudist colony, so good. I'm still reading The New Eve, The Age of the New Eve, whatever that book is that Kieran sent me and I'm loving it. I, it's definitely a book you need to focus on. So it's kind of hard for like my after work reading while Kiki's watching TV. So I'm trying to maybe have that be my lunchtime solo reading, but I'm not taking a lunch today. So it's hard. <laughs> uh, great. I'll talk to you later if I have more book news. Good morning, it's Wednesday. I worked at 7.30 last night, but I started a new book. Mother freaking Milk Fed by Melissa Broder. I got an ARC sent to me. I reached out to the publisher for it because I love Melissa Broder and they sent me one. I was like screamed when I got this, I'm so excited. So readable, lots of very triggering descriptions and language about disordered eating and body dysmorphia, which very thankfully I feel like as a woman I've struggled with very little, um, but it is still hard to read. So big trigger warning if you're thinking about picking up that book in 2021. But I love her writing. I think she's like so snarky and sexy and gross and so good. I'm really enjoying it. I'm gonna keep working today. <laughs> And I'll see you later. Hi. It's Thursday. I'm at my desk. It's 12.50. I have an appointment at 2 o'clock to go pick up my final alterations on my wedding dress. <sighs> that will be happening in 2022 now. So prayers that I still like it in 2022. Prayers that it fits me. <laughs> uh, very busy with work. I read more of Milk Fed last night. I'm interested to see how the rest of the story goes. Like the fantastic, unbelievable, like uh, wackiness of the Pisces. I'm missing that a lot to kind of counterbalance a lot of the very real kind of self-sabotage, self-sabotaging, self-hate talk about food. I'm like, okay, we get it. We hate your body. You have very sad, disordered eating what's happening now, but I'm only like 75 pages in. You guys, I commissioned my friend Jess, who is a painter, to paint me this custom piece. Look how freaking gorgeous that is. And she included a pig. Oh, she looks good. Hi, it's Friday. I was falling asleep last night reading Milk Fed and I was like, you know, I really miss falling asleep reading a David Sedaris book. So I picked up another one. When you're engulfed in, in flames. I think it's one of the last ones I haven't read. Which makes me sad. I also picked up Parakeet. It says, I hear this is really weird, but really good. And then I also picked up Supper Club because I guess I'm in a mood to read about women's hunger. It's my baby haul. Hi everyone, it is Saturday. I'm exhausted. I just had the busiest week. The burnout, the burn, the burnout is real. Um, I was just watching Alex's from what page are you on's video about nonfiction November and in the intro he just kind of talks really candidly about the effects of 
the COVID crisis and now we're getting into shitty weather and just feeling run down. So glad I'm not alone, but doesn't solve anything, does it? <laughs> we're chilling today. Big surprise. We cleaned the house this morning because Kiki's dad is coming over to give us a leaf blower <laughs> and we wanted it to seem like we are civilized humans. Um, reading update. I bought when you're engulfed in flames by david sedaris yesterday because i just needed more comfort food i feel like i can't focus on anything it's kind of like winding down to be the end of the year i've read 60 books this year so far i feel like i really overextended myself reading wise in like august and september not i, I was just like in the mood to read a lot then and now i'm not and there's some guilt associated with that, but not much. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys are doing good. It feels good to have a clean house. It's a, a very annoying way to start your Saturday morning, but I think it'll pay off for us to enjoy a clean house over the weekend. Maybe that could be our new Friday night ritual is cleaning the house. <laughs> oh, my life's so exciting. Do you want a clean house tour, maybe? You know this part of the house. You've seen it before. You know that bad dog shouldn't be up there on that cushion. He's clean. Uh, the mirror still hasn't come for the mantle. Pretty clean over here with our gorgeous new painting. Spud's bed he never uses. The table's still broken and we still need new dining room chairs. <laughs> our sweet little kitchen. Feels good, floors are mopped, swept, made the beds. Can you clean the bathroom this morning? We're freaking chilling. Oh, I don't know if I've ever shown you this. It's our new nightlight. <laughs> you got it at Goodwill. Um, great truffle prices from this pig. He's kind of an icon. What else do we have to show you? There's Josh. I also got Supper Club and Parakeet while I was at Barnes & Noble picking up the David Sedaris book because it was buy $50 worth of books, get $10 off. So I was like, okay, fine. You win capitalism, you win. Just a gorgeous multi-purpose room, everyone. We got our workout bike. I love spinning. Um, so this is my bootleg Peloton and my dad's bed and this is where I work now. <laughs> Just a wee little house. Maybe that gives you more perspective if you ever wanna come murder me or... Just kidding, I have an ADT system, don't even try it. <laughs> we have our gorge ghost hanging. <laughs> so welcoming. Ah. ah, isn't that right, Spud? Isn't that right? Who's that boy? Who is it? <laughs> All right, everyone. I'll check in later. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's Monday. And I'm wearing a sweatsuit. And I... I'm depressed. <laughs> Woke up and the brainy's not working. Okay, but um, I wanted to sign off the vlog. I was not a great vlogger this week. I don't know. I'm just like not in the game, you know? I'm reading. I'm trying to get my head right. There's a lot going on at work. I'm planning a huge three week road trip for me and Kiki. So that's been kind of stressful too, figuring out logistics of that in our camper. And I don't know, I'm just like finding the YouTube thing a little harder, but I am on Instagram stories a lot, annoyingly, and I'm still on Goodreads. I would say that's the most at a glance view you can get of my, of my reading. I just wanted to sign off, maybe talk about Milk Fed a bit. I finished this last night. I can't believe how radically the last like 50 pages changed the entire book for me. Absolutely, Josh. He feels it too. Um, 
kind of similarly to how I felt when I was reading Freshwater. I was like, ooh, this book is not for me. I'm not loving this. And then, <laughs> and then rapidly that kind of shifts. Um, wow, cat hair in my face. I was having trouble with Milk Fed at first. Descriptions about food and the disordered eating in this book borderlined on like intense, obtrusive, and I felt like unnecessary almost uh, as I was getting towards the end of the book. I do think the upfront of this book could be shorter, but the payoff at the end and the kind of philosophical enlightenment that our main character faces made a lot of sense to me. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. I think this 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 is going to be a polarizing book. I know that Pisces was too. And I think the description about Miriam's body and the sexualization of people in larger bodies like like there was almost a objectification from what is our main character's name? This is how bad my memory is. I finished this last night. Rachel, the most boring name in the world. Okay. Uh, Rachel's objectification of Miriam's body as like a conduit for her to accept her own body because she had such disordered eating. I don't know, this is going to be a complicated, controversial book, but I think it has like a lot of good... I think Melissa Broder's really good about writing about sex. Um, some people hated that in the Pisces, the like very descriptive sex scenes but like i don't know that's what it is you know interesting i'm i'm sitting on this i want to reread the last 50 pages again it got more cohesive and crystallized at the end of all of these different like obsession and hunger motifs that broder was using throughout the first half of the book it goes by really quick they're they're like tiny baby chapters there's like 70 chapters in here, but each one is like three pages or something. So don't let that, that turn you off. It's really not. I mean, I flew through this in a couple hours. I liked it. I liked it. It's saying something good. It's saying something interesting. I need more time to think about it though. Uh, great. I hope everyone's having a great week. I hope your brains are working. I hope it's sunny where you are. It's sunny where I am. I'm like catching this little light on my eye. And see you around? See you on the internet? See you if I have energy to make a video again. <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.